Hello everybody, fall is upon us, Halloween is right around the corner, so I thought I would do another wine cork craft. I am making a cute little wine cork pumpkin, so stick around for the how-to. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome to CorkinJava.com, where your go-to place for coffee and wine reviews and how-tos. On this channel, we like to expand and enrich your experience with all your favorite beverages. Make sure you guys hit subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified when all our future videos come out. So today, I thought I would put some of my, our surplus of wine corks to use um, and make this cute little uh, pumpkin that you can use just to decorate the house. Um, I made a giant heart um, out of the wine corks at one point. So, um, right there. Um, so definitely check out that video if that is something that you're interested in making. Um, this will obviously be much smaller. So um, what you're going to need for this project is, I don't know, maybe like an hour of time from like start to finish, um, maybe not even that long. But what you'll need is 25 corks and what you'll do is you'll take just some orange acrylic paint. I don't know how long this has been in my craft closet, but it's been a long time. But this color is pumpkin orange in case you are interested in getting this exact color, but any orange will do. And what you'll do is you'll just paint both sides of the corks. I did this off camera just so I had time to paint them and let them dry. I didn't think you're going to miss out on me sitting here painting. So paint both sides of 24 of the corks. Uh, one of the corks you'll use as the stem for the pumpkin, so you don't need to paint that one orange. Um, but paint both sides so that no matter which way you're facing, you have orange um, showing for your pumpkin. You'll also need a hot glue gun and uh, hot glue sticks. And if you want, um, I've seen tons of variations of this project on Pinterest and elsewhere, um, but you can also get like cute little ribbons or twine or um, little felt leaves and you can go crazy uh, making that um, super decked out for fall. Um, I'm just gonna keep it simple today and uh, to start with, um, I'm gonna take a row of four, then five, then six, then five, then four. So that will be, if you can imagine the, the quarks, um, gluing them all together. You want them to be about the same size too, that will help. Um, with the rows. So um, all you'll do is just take your glue gun and put a good layer of hot glue on it. These are the exact same cork, so I have it the same size. And then just press it together nice and firm. And then, so for this bottom row, like I said, you'll do a row of four. Should you do two and two and then put the pair yeah. together or does not yeah. matter? you can do it however you want. I'm just gonna do it like this. Because I'm only going like four across, it's not, um, it's not gonna be like- Unstable. Yeah, like precariously balanced here. And I think most of the wine corks that I used are all from white wines, but you could definitely use uh, red wine corks as well. Um, it might give you like a little nice variation of, um, you know, oranges like all throughout the pumpkin if you have um, you know, the shades. red wine. Yeah, different shades of the orange will be showing. So, all right, I'm gonna, I have my four here. And then, nice. Ta -da. So then I'm, I'm just gonna do a row of five, and then once I have all my layers, I'll squish them together.
Okay, so there is the structure of our little pumpkin. Um, like I said, there's a row of four, five, six, five, and four. And then um, what you'll do is for your last piece, um, just cut it in half and you can make it into like a little stem or if you wanna keep it long, um, you can obviously keep it long. Okay, so I just had Billy cut um, part of a loin cork for me. So I'm gonna glue this onto the top. And then I have some yarn and I also have twine here. So I'm gonna just see how it looks all fancied up because I saw different pictures that people have made online. If it looks janky, I'm just gonna leave it as is. So there you go. There's your cute little fall craft. This would be really fun to, you know, get a bunch of friends together. I mean, I, I don't imagine a lot of men might do this craft, but um, for women and stuff, I used to have craft night with some of my girlfriends from college and this would be like a really easy, a really fun way to start saving for a project. <laughs> Just drink a whole bunch of wine so you have wine corks for this um, and it's like a cute little decoration for your home make a cute little gift for someone too um, obviously it's inexpensive and super easy you saw me do that and like that so um, if you try this let me know uh, how it works out for you in the comments also make sure that you find us elsewhere online we are on Facebook Pinterest Twitter and Instagram there's great community and a great content in all those spots so don't miss out Looking forward to seeing you guys online. So until next time, thumbs up and happy balls.